Mind. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I've got Thank you, dear. Thank you. Hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Forever talking about fast bowling. Why there aren't any today? Are they are they picking the right ones around the counties? Are there other ones that England aren't picking? Well, the first uh, thing I shall say is I was a substitute <clears> for Alan Moss. Frank Tyson went never for Bob Willis. <laughs> I don't say that. Steve, I never thought you'd be doing this to me. Oh, no, nor did I. You look very nice, actually. Thank you, mate. I know, I'm very worried about him. <clears throat> I don't work for the TCCP, so I'm probably okay. Just go, whoops. <laughs> That's it. Is that a great? Forget about the interview with all that yeah. powder on, I'll kiss him. All right, we're standing by then. Fiddle kissing, I'll give him the high five. <clears throat> Fred, you're okay? <laughs> yes, sir, I'm all right, yeah. Have a bit of sticky. Have a bit of sticky. Just right. put my arm around Jack and look as though he's just got a wicket. This is for Grandstand, Fred. It's Grandstand later on. Is it? Okay, here we go yeah. then. <clears throat> Good afternoon, welcome back to Edgbaston. Another day dominated by Australia's spin bowlers. And I've been joined now by a, a couple of colleagues, Fred Truman from the Radio Box and, of course, Jack Bannister, familiar to television viewers, to uh, debate the lack of English fast bowlers. Why aren't there any more? Fred Truman, why is that? I know it's a difficult question, but why do you think there aren't any English fast bowlers anymore? Well, I don't, I don't know, John. If, 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 if I knew the answer, I wouldn't be here talking to you, would I? You know, I would be able to uh, put the job right. I just don't know the answer mm. and why there aren't any. I mean, all the incentives are there. Uh, money, fame, mm. everything is there. What, what, I mean, I, I don't know what the answer is at all, whether it's soft living or, or, or what. I, I just can't put my finger on it. But don't tell me that there, there are not fast bowlers out there somewhere. We've just got to go out and find them. Well, Jack, are there? You're a journalist. On the, on the trail throughout the season. Are England picking the right fast bowlers at the moment? Are there some out there in county cricket? Well, I, th I think I agree with Fred. Well, I think you're right, Jay. There's yeah. got to be fast bowlers out there, mate. Well, you see, part of the trouble the England selectors have had is, is clearly the pitches they're playing on. And this one here, all the grass went, and so we didn't need any fast bowlers. I mean, I, I wouldn't actually have, have picked two that they actually did. I'd have gone in with more spinners than that, but where the fast bowlers are, as Fred said, I agree with him. They're out there somewhere, but... But right, over, well, the, over the years, yeah. Jack, playing on this wicket here, let's be very fair about it. Yourself, a seed bowler. Tom Cartwright, a seed bowler. You know, Gladstone Small. Uh, you know, uh, moved it around a little bit. I mean, don't you think that uh, the selectors would have come to you and said uh, to, to Jack Bannister or Dennis Amos or Bob Willis or whoever, with, with all this experience at, uh, at Edge Batten and said, well, no, you don't want spinners. Uh, well, Seamus can do a bit as well. Let's establish one thing. Were there fast bowlers before? Now, we've got one sitting here in Fred Truman, but were there out-and-out -out quick bowlers who were playing county cricket and cricket for England previously? Well, of course there was. In Frank Tyson, Brian Statham, Jack Favell, Les Jackson, myself, uh, uh, other bowlers around the place that could bowl a little bit sharp. I mean, Tom Pritchard, am I right in saying Tom Pritchard got more wickets than the fast bowler since the war in one season than like 185, Jack? Yeah. On this wicket? Absolutely right, yeah. yeah. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Is okay, it? so you I mean, one of my best, Yeah, but one of my best test performances on, was on this wicket with something like, I don't know, Bill will put me right if we ask him, 7 for 42 or 7 for 44 against West Innes on this very wicket. All right, but in those days, the selectors whistled down a coal mine, apparently. Up popped a fast bowler. Oh, that's is that one of the reasons why there aren't fast bowlers anymore? No, that's a load of rubbish, that is, you know. The... I think what we've got to get over, Jack, the message is fast bowlers are born, not made, aren't they? I think partly. Only partly. I think, I think you can do something even if somebody's not born that way. I mean, look at John himself. I mean... Yeah, he wouldn't have said he, <laughs> well, I mean, he wasn't genuinely quick, but he's, he's played for England. He, he made himself into some sort of bowler. Well, well, I, I mean, slowed I, down. I, I, I think this is the point. Down. I slowed down deliberately because I thought that the system these days 
doesn't actually you encourage you to bowl fast. You slowed down. I made a conscious decision to bowl medium, medium fast, simply because the, the <laughs> daily grind of county cricket and the one-day cricket didn't actually do much to encourage said, you to bowl quickly. He, he said he slowed down. <laughs> well, I didn't know you'd ever speed it up. <laughs> I know, but no, that's besides the point, John. One thing about it, John, is that you are one of the few bowlers who've got 100 wickets in a season. I think, did you do it twice? I nearly did it twice, but yeah. So, well, I, I remember you doing it once, you know, and uh, and you still didn't play for England then. So you were going through the same sort of process we're going through today. No, that's fair to say, but uh, you, yes, you did get 100 wickets in the season. I remember that. I thought I thought you'd done it twice. I'm sorry about that. But do you think, Jack, that the, the present county system actually does little to encourage fast bowlers, particularly now with the extended Sunday league? Yes. Yeah. I think I think that's. I think that's right, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't. <laughs> Why? You know, well, sorry, I, well, the way I look at it is that counter cricket, uh, with all these bloody false declarations and things that take place. Not in Sundays? No, not on a Sunday, but, uh, well, I heard one of the uh, former England captains speaking the other day and saying, you know, people don't want to be running up and bowling flat out for ten overs on a Sunday. Why? Well, I remember a few days when you, you got through ten overs in a day. I'd have been delighted to have got through ten <laughs> overs in a day. <laughs> if that's all I'd have to bowl, yeah. Uh, but I, I, I get fed up of listening to people talking about uh, the too much cricket, uh, and then you look and somebody's bowled 580 overs in a season. You know what I mean? Uh, well, I used to bowl 1,000, 1,050, 1,100. Uh, and that's how I think I learned to bowl. Did you? Well, yeah. I might have learned a bowl. I got a few wickets and all that, but yeah. that's besides the point. <laughs> yeah. But the I last... reckon by bowling, I learned to bowl. The last great fast bowler that England had was undoubtedly Bob Willis, but he, I think, it's fair to say, didn't bowl that much for Warwickshire, did he? I think the Warwickshire members would have, would have agreed with that that he did save himself for England. Yeah, I mean, I, I did a history of, of Warwickshire, um, and we examined all the match records and. Um, no, I mean, Bob bowled more for England than he, he did for, yes, did, yeah. for Warwickshire, didn't he? Well, once I was here once, uh, Yorkshire were playing here. I think it was when young Stevenson got 100 at number 11. And I was amazed, you know, that Bob Willis was playing for England and captain of Warwickshire, and he came on to bowl at this very end where we're sitting, and the crowd was shouting bowler's name, please. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. We yeah. don't seem to have answered many <laughs> questions so far, do I know it's a difficult one, but what can be done by England to find fast bowlers these days? It's the case in this test match where Australia reduced to 80 for four in all sorts of trouble. Someone had to come on and knock the tail over and it didn't happen. What can be done to produce fast bowlers in England these days? There must be an answer. Well, we didn't have two fast bowlers here. You know, we've got one bowler who runs up faster than he bowls. And the other one who, uh, according which to one, Which one's that? Uh, Big Mill. Oh, yeah. He runs up faster than me, but he runs up far too long, runs yeah. too straight. And then we've got this fellow Islet, of course, who's been taught by a physiotherapist down in Essex to put his foot in the wrong place. And that's why he can't swing it. But, uh, but come on, Jay. I don't know where the answer well, is. Well, let's find a fast bowler. How? How can England find a fast bowler? There must be a way. There must be something. So with the West Indies. Well, it's difficult because. I mean, Leicestershire last year, when, when they had one injury, suddenly you end up back in the side. So if, if a count is, with due, is due yeah. respect, <laughs> down to that, yeah. where are the counties going to go to find Is it a question bowlers? of cricket in schools? Is it cricket in clubs? Is it, is it youngsters in clubs who aren't encouraged to come through and play? What is the answer? Don't know what the answer is. Do you? I've no idea. I mean, I've looked round. I've, I've, thought about, <laughs> I, I've honestly thought about this for a... For some while, and the more you think, the more you realise that I don't think there's any answer. I think socially life's moved on, and I don't think really that there's any there's any incentives. You talk about money, but kids can go and get money somewhere else. Uh, I don't think there's any incentive. I don't think there is an answer. But why did you become a fast bowler, Fred? Well, because I was skint and desperate and came from a poor family, I suppose. But was it because you'd also watched other fast bowlers mm. playing for England and oh, got the idea I've and never then seen one. What are you on about? See, now you see you're about to get through the grid. I mean, when I was a kid, born out in the middle of the sticks, way down the bottom end of South Yorkshire, just, just 400 yards inside the Yorkshire border, I would have been in Lincolnshire or Trent Bridge, Nottinghamshire. Uh, I never saw first class cricket. I never saw first class cricket ground till I walked on one at Eddingley in 1947. Well, my point is, then, that if... <coughs> 
young fast bowlers or young potential fast bowlers these days haven't got anyone to idolise or look up to looking at the present England oh, team. What future is there? I knew about Larwood and Vos in 1938-9 when I was a kid and uh, I used to see I was only born about 11 miles from out of Larwood, 12 miles. And I, I knew about out of Larwood. I mean, well, we'd had the Bodyline series in the 32-3 yeah. and all that business. You see. So it, I, I knew about that because that, that was a talk at the cricket dinners when I was a kid. I mean, the reason you went slow or slower You've That's got better. nobody to idolise? Mm. You hadn't? No. No, there's your answer, isn't it? I mean, you're asking for an answer, and that's about it. Well, that's it, because of his family couldn't afford a television set. <laughs> you know, I mean, I heard all about Jonathan because he, they, they, they said he came from a poor family, and when they, uh, and I heard about the health inspector visiting his house, you know. Hey? Uh, yeah, I did, yeah, about rats in the cellar. True story, don't know this about Jonathan. <laughs> The true story about yeah. the rats in the cellar. Yeah, and when the health inspector was there, there was, a, there was a salmon jumped out of the wall and grabbed a piece of lettuce. <laughs> and the, the health inspector, did you see that? And Jonathan's father said, yeah, I'll talk to you about the damp course next week. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, oh, dear. Well, we've criticised the selectors for picking uh, or not picking fast bowlers. I don't think we've come up with any ideas at all here. I Edmund. think we have. I mean, we've, I, th I think it's been sorted out to some degree, don't some, you? I quite agree with Jack. I mean, to some degree, somewhere out there, Jonathan, there has to be fast bowlers. I mean, I mean real genuine quick bowlers. Yeah. It has to be. I mean, this sort of, this sort of, uh, what do you call it, interview, can, can spark somebody off, surely, can it? Well, it ought to do. Well, let's hope so. But, uh, gentlemen, I think at the moment um, we'll have to wrap that up because we don't seem to be answering uh, <laughs> or coming up with too many answers to this one. It's a, a problem, obviously, for the selectors to sort out. We think that uh, something has to be done to encourage young fast bowlers, but for now, gentlemen, thanks very much. It's very nice to be with you, Jonathan, and Jack, of course. My, uh, Jack and I Who's set pals. me up? Somebody's set me up. Somebody's <laughs> set me up. They haven't. What are you on about, set? <laughs> Somebody's set me up. That was a set-up. That was a set-up. <laughs> That was a setup, wasn't it? <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> that was a setup. <laughs> you <laughs> bastards! <laughs> I've had a cold sweat! Uh, sorry about that. You! You <laughs> won't even answer the question! <laughs> Did you know about this? Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't a setup. I was told to come and talk seriously, that's why I did. <laughs> Justin, where is he? <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, was that all right, boys? That's Johnston. <laughs> it must be. Someone set me up. Johnners, you bastard! <laughs> God. Oh. God. <laughs> oh. <laughs>